the atomic bomb didn't need to work. And I don't mean that in a political way or even an engineering way. I mean that in a physics way. Let me explain. The way that the atomic bomb works is by taking highly radioactive but otherwise non-explosive elements like uranium and plutonium and forcing them into a space small enough that each radioactive decay causes more than one subsequent decay. In the case of uranium, one simply smashes two pieces together, and for plutonium, one uses explosives to compress a lump into a smaller lump. Either way, a supercritical mass of material is assembled. When this happens, a runaway fission chain reaction occurs. A bomb. The chain reaction basically works like this. A neutron crashes into the nucleus of an atom, causing it to split in two, i.e. fission, and release a few more neutrons. Those neutrons then go on to crash into more nuclei, and so on. At each step, more and more spare energy is released in the form of gamma radiation and the kinetic energy of the daughter nuclei. But in principle, it didn't need to work. If the physics of the universe were slightly different, it's possible that no materials would have had all the necessary properties to make it happen. See, there are four properties of an elemental isotope that determine whether or not a fission chain reaction can happen at all. The first is the probability of a neutron collision causing a nuclear fission. If it's too unlikely, then the neutrons will just be either absorbed without causing fission, or just pass straight through until it leaves the material entirely. So we need an atomic nucleus with a high enough probability of neutron-induced fission. The second is the number of emitted neutrons from a fission event. If only one neutron is produced in the fission event, then no exponential chain reaction can occur. At best, you can only get a sustained reaction. If the nuclear forces were such that the resulting nucleus held tightly onto all but one neutron, then no chain reaction could happen. The third is the density of the material. Even if the probability of a neutron inducing a fission is high, if there aren't many nuclei per unit volume, then the probability of a collision is small. So the material needs to be dense enough. You're not going to get a chain reaction from a gas because the nuclei are just too far apart. The final property you need is a sufficiently long radioactive half-life. If the half-life is too short, then you won't have enough time to assemble enough material to reach criticality. And you need a lot of material concentrated in one space so as few neutrons get wasted as possible. All of these things had to go right in order for uranium and plutonium to be fissile. But it didn't have to be that way. And so it's by a cosmic coincidence that we were able to build world-ending bombs.